Hello, this is Killican, and today we're looking at a chapter of American Civil War history of very personal importance to me, the 7th Pennsylvania Reserve Regiment, a volunteer unit formed in summer of 1861. My great-great-great-grandfather, Luther Dodson of Freeland, Pennsylvania, eagerly volunteered with many others to preserve the Union and end the scourge of slavery. The Seventh fought in some of the most intense battles of the Eastern Theater, most famously Antietam, or Sharpsburg, Fredericksburg, and the Wilderness. On September 17, 1862, the Seventh, about 216 in number, engaged Confederate General Hood's division in a cornfield north of Sharpsburg, Maryland. They fought the rebels back, standing their ground an extra half hour after their division was ordered to fall back. They were relieved by an inexperienced regiment that crumbled and fled in panic with the next rebel attack. The Seventh returned to the field and drove the enemy back again. After being relieved again, they were almost immediately ordered back into the cornfield by their corps commander, General Sumner. By the day's end, the 7th had suffered 72 casualties, a third of their number, most notably A Company's Captain Colwell and four privates, all killed by a single artillery shell on their third advance into the cornfield. For their heroic actions, on October 3rd, Abraham Lincoln gave them a favorable review, and their monument and statue still stands today in the northern end of the Antietam battleground. A few months later, on December 12th, the 7th penetrated deep into the woods outside Fredericksburg to surprise and temporarily overwhelm Confederate General Longstreet's corps in their trenches, taking over a hundred prisoners, including some officers, and the flag of the 26th Georgia Volunteers, which General George Meade considered the prize of the battle, a fleeting moment of victory amid disastrous defeat for the Union, which was immortalized digitally in 2006 by a level of the video game, the History Channel, Civil War, A Nation Divided. Their casualties were 7 dead, 72 wounded, and 22 missing in action. The wounded included Commanding Officer Colonel Bollinger taking a bullet in the leg just after recovering from bullet wounds to the arm and chest at Turner's Gap in September. In the wilderness, on May 5, 1864, the entire regiment, 272 men on the far left of the Union line, were surrounded and captured by Confederate General Richard Ewell's Corps. The officers were taken to Charleston to be human shields against Union bombardment. The enlisted men were taken to the infamous Andersonville prison camp, where from May to September they suffered starvation, dysentery, brutalization, and murder at the hands of the Confederate garrison commanded by Captain Heinrich Wurz. In September, they were moved to Florence, South Carolina, where they were paroled and sent home in December, though many, including my ancestor, Luther Dodson, would never be the same again. The 7th, or what little of it wasn't captured at the wilderness, was officially disbanded on June 16, 1864, and the Confederate Commandant to Vandersonville, Captain Heinrich Wirtz, was tried and convicted of war atrocities and hanged on November 10, 1865. As a Navy veteran, a loud and proud Bravo Zulu and Semper Fortis to Luther Dodson and the rest of the 7th Pennsylvania Reserves, and all the brave Billy Yanks who fought so this nation under God and the government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe, and peace out.